Hey guys, what's going on? It's me Nathan. Just want to say good evening everyone, both the East West Coast. Hope you guys enjoyed your day today here on Monday. If you guys are also a stunned week, out, very positive, very bright. And for this video tonight, of what I want to talk to you guys about is Dean Ambrose returns to Raw before SummerSlam. So let's go into it. Uh, link will be in the description down below. This is from ringsandnews.com, posted by H. Jenkins, the website for the 13th of August of 2018, posted today here on Monday at the beginning of this week. And it says, <clears throat> Dean Ambrose was put out of action due to, due to a triceps injury and it was about time for him to return. Actually, Dean was about a month ahead of schedule, but he has been concentrating really hard on his return, even moving to Alabama so he could be closer to his doctors. Seth Rollins was all prepared for his IC title match, IC title match at SummerSlam. But he was in China, so he couldn't make it back for the contract signing. At the end of the show, Dolph Ziggler said Kurt Angle should just call off the match. Angle called for Rollins, but he never came out. Ziggler and Drew McIntyre talked some smack about Rollins for not showing up and being a coward, but still put him over. McIntyre said this is an example of how the hard work should begin when once a superstar makes it to Raw, which is why they respect Rollins. But he was the architect of his own downfall. Dolph signed the contract and made the match a forfeit, and suddenly Rollins showed up just in time, fresh off his trip from China. Rollins said he's actually been here a little while because he wanted to wait until Ziggler signed his contract because he didn't think Ziggler would, si would sign once he figured it out that Dean Ambrose was going to be at Service Lab 2. Then he brought out, then he brought out Ambrose out to reintroduce the lunatic fringe to the WWE Universe. He looked good with his short hair. An intense look on his face. Needless to say, Dolph and Drew were upset. Two thirds of the Shield rushed the rushed the ring, and McIntyre ate a dirty deeds as Greensboro became unglued. And they have uh, a a GIF, a GIF graphic of Dean Ambrose returning with a cut off um, return to to uh, Dean Ambrose Society shirt, and also wearing uh, great pants too. He has a uh, beard and short hair too. Look, it looks great. So, um, you know, overall, I'm glad that Dean, um, Dean Ambrose is back and is going to be in Seth Rollins' corner for SummerSlam this Sunday. Though, I do think, though, that we're going to have a heel turn by Dean Ambrose. I think maybe, if not a SummerSlam, it has to be the next night on Raw because they, they can't have Dean Ambrose as a face. I mean, it, Dean Ambrose's face was okay, and I think that they were really going to make him a sort of Roddy Piper, Brian Pillman type of character, but they just watered him down uh, the last couple of years. And even when he won the WWE Championship, it kind of felt still and boring, you know, after the next couple of months. So, for Dean Ambrose, I just hope he will return as a heel. I mean, hope he's back as a heel, and we'll see it at SummerSlam, and if he's going to cost Rollins the match. Um, if he doesn't, then maybe, uh, maybe he's still... Maybe he still will screw with Seth Rollins after the match is over. Like, say, for example, if Seth Rollins wins the IC title, then Dean Ambrose will attack Seth Rollins and betray him and turn heel at SummerSlam, which will make a great moment for sure. I think that WWE should, you know, make him a heel again. And, you know, this time have him be solo. Um, if they're not going to do it, maybe they're going to drag it out into WrestleMania. If, you know, let's say, for example, if it's going to be a triple threat shield match for the, for the um, Universal Championship, the main title on Raw, for the main event at WrestleMania, um, then Dean Ambrose should turn a heel there. But I don't think they should wait that long. I think they should, as they always say, strike when the iron is hot. So, but I'm glad that Dean Ambrose is back, and I do hope that he will be able to, um, you know, make some noise at SummerSlam, whether it's by costing Dean Ambrose, costing Seth Rollins the championship for the ice title, or, you know, helping Seth Rollins win the match. But let's have a so guys think about this. Do you like it? Do you not like it? Are you in more neutral about Dean Ambrose's choice to rob before SummerSlam? If so, tell me in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to always subscribe to channel, guys. And until next time, we're going to say peace, take care. I'll see you guys later for the next coming up. Right now, stay tuned, and I will see you guys later. I'm signing out. Peace. I have a good night. See you guys for the next video coming up right now. Bye.